So what's all this stuff about, anyways? Hmm. This some kind of convention? What's it about? Horses? Are those horses? You one of those furries? Another pony convention came. Another pony convention gone. This was my second ever convention I ever attended. My second ever Harmony Con. But this time around, I got to check in my horse fame card and get that legendary title, Community Guest. But Pear, I hear you say, pony conventions are dead, just like the fandom. The glory day shall never return. Well, for that I say, HarmonyCon, one of the many ongoing conventions that still exist. Nay, not just exist, thrive. To make it to the specific convention that is the main protagonist for this video, you must survive the hazardous streets of Dallas. There, in the shining dome that is the Hyatt Regency, is where the convention took place. Now, upon entering the hotel, I was actually worried somehow I ended up at the wrong place. For there were no ponies yet, early day zero. Just a bunch of individuals wearing very fancy expensive suits and clothing. This was really a running little theme throughout the whole convention. It was a mixture of classes, bronies, and high-class business people. I know exactly how Applejack felt now going through the Grand Galloping Gala. One of my community guest tasks was going up to the main stage during opening ceremonies. Nobody knew exactly how it was going to really be with so many community guests this time. They ended up going with everyone just walking out and giving a little wave or something and then leaving. I was like, alright. First time being a community guest, I must do things right. I must not be cringe. Professionalism. See, I went the wrong way off the stage completely and had to do a walk of shame all the way around the room just to get back to the backstage area. I even ran into a pole or something on my way out. It truly was a pleasure being there and getting to meet everyone. A few different people actually came up to me and asked for like a picture or an autograph. As someone with extreme crippling social anxiety, you have no idea how much I appreciate everybody who did that. Now, I may have been talking the cons up, namely Harmony Con, but I was not the only one that had a great experience. Everyone has their own stories to tell, and no two con visits are the same it seems. So, here are some words from some fellow pony peeps that aren't me. Ah yes, Harmony Con 2024, what a magical time it was. Dare I say, cinemagical. <laughs> oh, but if there's one event I could use to describe what this weekend was like, myself and four other friends, Sunday afternoon we all went down to the lobby and sang a Frank Sinatra rendition of the Living Tombstone Five Nights at Freddy's song, and if that doesn't describe what the epitome of being at a pony convention is like, then then I don't know what does. One of my favorite things about HarmonyCon was the panels, and golly were there a lot. I got to host my very own panel as a matter of fact, the collaborative do's and don'ts with Pear, Saf, and a few others. On top of that, I got to participate on the Great Panel Randomizer, a very ambitious panel that was akin to a wacky game show. It was even on the main stage of all places. Throughout the convention weekend, it was just so awesome getting to see all the variety and talent displayed in the panels, and I couldn't be more grateful to have been a part of it. HarmonyCon 2024 is probably one of the most busiest, but also most pleasant conventions I've ever attended. I found myself surrounded by friends, notably some I've known for years, but had never met in person before. We all had lots of different plans for panels, events, and silly things to do at the con. But amazingly, perhaps by chance or just sheer coordination, we managed to do all of the things I had personally been looking forward to, and then some, which is a rare achievement in the chaos and unpredictability of a convention weekend. I think the only thing I missed was the plush panel, but nothing was going to keep me from the plush meetup, which might be the largest gathering of pony plushies I've ever seen in person. After enjoying countless panels and events, we visited the Reunion Tower observation deck for a group photo overlooking the Dallas skyline. My time at HarmonyCon then concluded with a pizza party where we reenacted the Last Supper. So yeah, everyone goes to cons for different reasons and has different experiences, both planned and unplanned, but my main takeaway was definitely how everything went according to plan and seeing the variety of panels and friends. 
Harmony Con 2024. It was possibly my favorite con ever. It was amazing. I had an awesome time. My main, uh, well, my favorite part of the con was obviously my little romance. It was so much fun to perform in the getup, and I had an awesome time. And it sound like uh, sounds like everyone else had an awesome time too. So yeah, freaking sweet. Two of my favorite parts of going to the convention are always going to be the vendor hall and going to as many panels as I can. They're always selling the coolest stuff in the vendor hall you would never find anywhere else. My favorite thing I got was an Izzy plushie. She's perfect and I love her. Going to the panels is another one of my favorite things. Seeing everyone talk so passionately about horse, laugh about horse, and especially seeing all the high effort horse game shows. Seeing all of it reminds me, maybe I'm not the last person in the world. So what I got to do at the convention was meet a lot of people I've never really gotten to talk to before, such as Tootsie Forever and Silver Quill. And I got to enjoy those conversations quite a bit. I also was hanging out with friends basically the entire con, got a bit closer to some people that I wasn't really expecting to this convention, and also managed to recruit some people for one of my videos I'm working on, and even recorded some sections for it, which is also pretty cool. It was sad to see most people gone after going to the Rainforest Cafe and then coming back, because there was some business meeting going on, and they literally just overtook our building. They uh, paid extra money, to my knowledge, to literally kick the bronies out of the building, so that's pretty cool. But. Aside from that, I enjoyed meeting all the people at the con and doing all the panels that I did this time around, and I can't wait to do it again next year. My favorite memory was the car ride there. And what did you like about... Well, you see... After pointing out our destination in the Dallas skyline, Lero, Reminition, and I were just casually talking. The radio played quietly in the background. Then suddenly... My mind raced. I looked out at the skyline. It was clear, meaning it couldn't be a tornado or inclement weather warning. Dallas also doesn't experience other disasters like hurricanes, volcanoes, earthquakes, or wildfires. Only one thing could be happening. Judgment Day. The end of society as we knew it. I waited for the flash to come, accepting that at this distance there was no chance of surviving it. My mind reeled with questions about the eternal fate of my other friends already at the con. Had I done enough? This was just a test. I sighed in relief. It had been a long time since I remembered that the first of the month was when they tested the EAS systems. Well, okay then. The attendees were amazing. They were so sweet. Every single interaction I had that through the weekend was amazing. I loved it. I, I definitely recommend going to HarmonyCon. When it comes to these pony conventions, I always feel like I'm so awkward and weird around these other people, but then I realize, wait a minute, they like My Little Pony too, so we can all be awkward together! Which is probably why I come out of my shell at these conventions, as I want to make new friends and make some new connections with people. Coachella 2024 is honestly one of the best PonyCon concerts I've ever experienced. Nothing's more satisfying seeing a bunch of people packed in one room, shouting, dancing, singing, sometimes even moshing to all the music that we love, all themed about tiny pastel horses. Even from a performer's perspective, being on board for the My Little Romance act with Prince Whatever and Melody Brony, possibly one of the best produced live sets that I've seen in Brony fandom history. Mark my word. Uh, so you mean HarmonyCon? Oh yeah, I was totally there. Um... The hotel was super cool, definitely, and, uh, yeah... Okay, okay, okay. This has already gone on a long time. <laughs> There's a lot to talk about HarmonyCon, apparently. Like, you can't cover it all. We didn't even talk, no one really talked about, like, I don't know, the food around the place. I don't know, I'm not, I, this, the video's already long enough, alright? So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for uh, supporting me, if you support me. But also thank you for doubly watching, because I, you know, if this video does well, who knows what will happen in the future. But I, this is just something I really wanted to make. And, you know, I, 
I've already been working on this so long. This is just going to be me rambling at this point. I don't want to edit this. This is not going to be edited. This is going to go straight. It's just, but this is probably the end card. This is probably just going to be the end card. All right. It's, cons are cool. Harmony Con, you're cool. Uh, I, I'm probably not even going to, you know, I'm probably not even going to animate the rest of this end card. It's just going to be a, a PNG. It's going to be a single PNG. I'm just going to stretch it out, right? Stretch it out. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Subscribe. Comment, please. I need it, please. I've been working so long and I didn't expect it to be this long and hard, please.